Hey there for restaurants and bars in the Solano County area, Bay Area in California. I want to share with you uh, this webinar that I attended uh, recently, right, from uh, how, uh, in regards to how to survive and profit against the coronavirus. Uh, this is uh, a bar restaurant owner in the Illinois area. His name is Nick Foster, uh, Fosberg. And if you want to get the full webinar, let me know. If you want to get in contact with, with him, right, I can, I'm going to share his information. Uh, but first, my name is Leo. I work with the small businesses here in the area. Most of my clients are restaurants uh, in the area and bars in the Solano County area. Uh, most of them speak Spanish and bilingual. And that's the work that I do, right? Uh, uh, helping them with their digital marketing, advertising, helping them with their website, social media, etc. And so I think it's very important for uh, the, the way that things are happening with coronavirus and um, restaurants being forced to close, bars being forced to close, just uh, restaurant situations, right? Just being open for to go order. Some have, uh, some uh, have been close to have been forced to close completely simply because they don't got too many um, to go orders, or it doesn't work on the model. Perhaps they don't see the possibility, right? Don't see any other possibilities, or it's too expensive for them to just do to go order, so they're already closed. Um, but let's jump in right on, on, on this webinar. Um, before I do that, let me show you. I'm going to give credit to Nick Prosper. I'm not affiliated to him. I'm not, um, uh, he's not paying me to do this, right? Uh, I just think it's uh, important to give it credit, right? Uh, in one way, it, it, one way I can. Um, Thank him for the information that he shared. It's just basically for you to be able to know how to find him. Just simply go to Google, type in Nick Foxberg. You'll be able to find lots of information about his name, right? Uh, website, uh, Facebook profile, LinkedIn profile, videos on YouTube. Uh, if you go to barrestaurantsuccess.com, uh, you will be able to find him as well. Um, so different ways how you can get in contact with him. <clears throat> and if you want, again, a copy of the webinar. I'll be more than happy to share that with you. All right, so his title, his webinar, How to Survive and Profit Against the Coronavirus. He's been in the bar restaurant industry since he was born. He owns, I believe, three right now currently in the Illinois area. Um, and what he covered on this webinar was about the uh, what not to do, right, during the situation. Um, so you don't go out of business or so you, you don't let the competitor, your competitors win. Um, what sort of promotions and marketing strategies he's running, right, currently to plan on us um, during this situation. He's running free and paid promotions and advertising, so he is a strong believer in, in advertising. Uh, even when money's tight, right, is one of the last things that he suggests it, it will turn off. Um, you'd rather stop paying other stuff like we're going to cover here in a little bit. How to survive, how to use your staff as a driving sales force and help them put more money in their pocket and you as well right it's business restaurant owner how they can help you put more money in your pocket but obviously helping them at the same time um he starts sharing what most bar and restaurants owners are doing uh now obviously uh, they will enter in panic mode just like most people um and then like have the, that what's gonna lead to is have that feeling okay we're done right you just give up um and start cutting all expenses, especially for things that are critical and necessary. Um, they start closing down everything before they analyze the possibility of other things, things that can be done. Um, for example, he, you know, obviously is doing the curbside and delivery uh, option because that's what they have available in the Illinois area. I'm here in California. I know that's still the case over here. Um, so yeah, he, he shares a little bit about that. Then then he's gonna go into what is he what is he is doing and advise others to do so one of the things that he's doing he's helping his staff first and foremost right um maintaining from uh, giving information about or uh, you things you can do as an employee employer is it's find your employees to find information about how they can um utilize uh unemployment uh, i was on a webinar yesterday hearing to nhr specialists that People can apply for unemployment, or a staff can apply for unemployment. In, in in the process right now, it's not taking that long to get um, approved, right? Um, and also, they reducing the approval process or, or, or the 
process from where you are approved to the point to where you get your first paycheck uh, from the employment, they're reducing that process. That's what I, I heard from this HR specialist. Other things they're doing uh, with unemployment is that um, <clears throat> they are not requiring, for example, you to look for employment if you have some confidence that you're going to be able to go back to your employer. Um, but other stuff that he's talking about, right, is, for example, helping the employees uh, create GoFundMe pages uh, or the restaurant will create GoFundMe pages to help his staff, especially those that need it the most, right? And say, for example, the like single moms, um, those that may have a sick parent, etc. cetera. Um, other stuff that he's doing is perhaps uh, being creative with how to put his workforce to work, right? So many turning drivers. Uh, I'm, I'm working with a restaurant in Vacaville who are doing great livery um, in their area, right? So how can you leverage your uh, staff to turn it into driver uh, if, if you're, if it's within your, uh, if it's possible to get earning, obviously, right? Um, other stuff that he's doing is, for example, paying, stop paying utilities, uh, rent, other services that they don't need, like the rest services, uh, like um, direct TV, right, cable services, internet, uh, beer menus, etc. cetera. Uh, all this stuff is not useful to him right now because they're not open in the dining, dining area to the public. Everything they're doing is curbside pickup uh, to go orders. Uh, one thing that he suggested strongly is to keep advertising, right, but do it smartly, smarter in an effective way. Um, cut channels that do not really um, give you a return on your investment or you're not really sure what's going on or it may take too long to get a return on the investment. Um, change your special offers and promotions um, and use your list more than ever. So, for example, one of the things that he talked about is that, okay, right, um, obviously I don't need offers and promotions to specials that may not be utilized right now. For example, something with the dining area, because obviously the dining area is not open, but what about uh, offering uh, or promoting things that has to do with things that we can do right now? Like for example, promoting more of their to-go orders or the pickup, right? We, we do have those services so we can promote those. Um, so change your specials, offers and promotions related to what you can do right now. Um, don't use channels that do not uh, are not useful at this time, um, but keep those that do that do give your attorney investment that you are very you are you have a strong uh, knowing on how is that they're helping you. Use your list more than ever. If you do have a list, right, email, text, messaging through social media, leverage it, right. Uh, if you don't have one, start building one right now. That's very important. We do that with our clients, so. That's one thing that we'll be leveraging. And if you think, oh, this my my restaurant is a small and pop, it's a mom and pop, pop and mom and pop shop. Um, you know, I don't my clients don't really check their email. Well, I have a, a few small mom and pop shops, and they do, and people that sign up to receive emails from us, they do open their emails. Um, just yesterday, there was a email that was sent out to about 400 people, and. Uh, about 90 of them, 99 of them opened, right? So about 8 to 10 percent people, even 15 percent of people that that sign up to receive the information from you will open it. So people are still using uh, emails. My prediction, uh, he goes and share a little bit about the predictions. You can review this on your own if you want to, if you want to receive his information. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, time to change your message or so something that he recommended, right? It's obviously change your messaging. Obviously, you're not going to be messaging you're not going to be using messages like, um, hey, come in and, and enjoy uh, dinner with us, right? We're not open, so that's not messages you want to use. Uh, but things that he's doing is sort of more going towards uh, getting support from the community, asking the community, the community to help them, right? With the, the local support, um, a, a, local, a, a local business is pretty much done, right? So they rely on a lot of the community. They do get involved a lot in the community, so the community respect them and know them and love them. So if that's something that you are in a position to do, ask for help to your community. Um, ask them to please uh, share the information, but don't use the word please share or tag somebody on your social media, for example, or Facebook, right? Use the words that means the same, but don't use the specific word. For example, for, for example, please share, instead of saying that, use things like um, please let 
your friends and family know of, uh, about what we got going on, that we're still open, or that we are taking orders to go, that we're delivering, right? Use words that uh, mean the same, but without using the, those specific words, like words like please share. Um, so what that's going to happen if you use those words, basically, um, Facebook it will not it has a filters in place that will look for words like those and limit the capacity for your message or your post to reach more people. But if you use other words, uh, for example, please let your friend know, um, people on their own naturally organically are going to do that and Facebook will see that as an interactive post and will start sharing more and more uh, Facebook on organically and also your friends, right? They, 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 they will do that uh, your, or your customers or your list. Um, be positive, right? Provide positive uh, messaging. Um, give hope. If nobody wants to, at this time, the best clients, the best customers you want are those that you can, and and you can be the leader to keep a positive state of mind, right? You don't want to be um, <clears throat> the person that is out there posting messaging, negative messages, because that's the type of audience you're gonna be attracting, and you're gonna help. Uh, use, he recommends to use urgency and scarcity on your messages. So, for example, um, he doesn't know when they're gonna to when they're gonna be open, right? Things may change, and and, and business may be forced may be forced to close completely. So, have some urgency there to your clients to um, um, to your customers to come. Uh, other things that he did is share share a couple of, of the emails that he sent. Um, so, if you were looking for ideas on how to what sort of messaging or message or email you want to send to your customers. Um, this is one that he shared, right? He, he, he was very personal in this email. He was um, funny. Um, again, you can read completely uh, if you want a copy of this webinar. I'm going to keep going here so I don't make it too long. Um, today, I'd like to be our last day in our business. Today, likely to be our last day in business. Uh, so he shares another email over here. Let's see when he shared the. He didn't share the topic on this one or the subject. Then he shared this one with the subject, right? This other email. He put uh, a screenshot of uh, local news just to give some credibility, right? And also he goes into the messaging of that email. Again, if you want to see the complete email, simply uh, reach out to me. I will. Um, I can send you the link to um, the full webinar. And then he goes into covering the offerings and promotion that he's doing. Um, a lot of the things that he's doing, for example, purchasing gift cards or pickup um, and delivery, he's, 20, 20, he's providing 20% um, back special um, after the this, this is over, okay? so. If you go to Frost's Bar and Grill, you may be able to see his video there and, and go to see, and, and get to see his message, his video, and what he's talking about. Um, for example, in this one, he gave he's gonna give 20% back and and a toilet paper after the situation happens. So similar situation for you, right? If you if you're doing a promotion, um, how can you make it in a way that you get the most cash right now because this is where you need it as business owners, but be able to um, uh, give confidence to your clients that you're going to be able to help them later on to give an incentive later on. For example, let's say, oh, I give you 20% uh, back when you purchase a gift card. So 20% discount when you purchase gift cards, when you purchase gift cards, gift cards, blah, blah, after the whole situation happens, right? So those are the things you can use. Uh, buy two meals, get one free appetizer. Obviously, be smart about this, uh, the value, right? Uh, after the whole situation happens. Um, catering has been... Um, strong for him this has been going strong for him because people remember there are critical essential services that are still going on and people are open or businesses are open and they need to eat uh, but they don't want to go out too much I mean they may be too busy uh, there are large families that are gathered so how can you help those uh, large families to get fed um, but they don't want to cook right so other stuff that he goes into in regards to free and pay um, strategies are posting uh, to, to your social media okay that's good but it's not enough right uh, ask your entire staff to share information um, use your contacts your email list your text your messages to share uh, and tell them which, which post specifically to share 
right? And obviously, because you are sending messages directly to him, to them, to your contacts, uh, this is not this uh, doesn't apply when if you say please share, right? You are sending messages directly to them. You give them the link of the post on Facebook, for example, if you wanted to share, and, and, and they will share it. Um, use this staff as a sales force, giving commission. That's something that he's doing, right? For example, he's giving 20% on gift card sales uh, to his staff, uh, and he's giving um, uh, 15 to 20% on uh, every food order to their, to their staff. Um, and those are obviously plans of commissions. He goes into how you can do that. He, and, and, and so if you want to listen more about that, you can do that. Then he goes into the um, talk about how he's doing the Facebook advertising, right? Sending text messaging, um, how he's just advertising to his warm audience, because that's the audience that uh, he has more um, influence on it obviously they know that the warm audience is the one that knows you like you and trust you they try your food before so that's the best one to connect with at this time uh, use your list as much as possible be personal get personal um, if you don't have a list start one today uh, and, and think about those offers that you can do right now but um, more, where you can get the most cash right now right and be able to um, um, be able to what's the word I'm looking for be able to help to provide incentive at the later point all right that's all for today um, hope this is very helpful if you again want a copy of the webinar uh, simply go to my website and reach out right my website is your track.co my best uh, Cell is uh, 707-410-0307. My email is info at digitaltrack.co. Then you have my, um, my my social media here at the bottom of the website. Uh, so yeah, different ways that you can connect with me, especially if you want a copy of that webinar or um, or I, I already send you and show you how you can get in contact with Nick Fosper directly. I'm not affiliated to him. He's not paying me to do this. I just think it's very important, right? Coming from another. Uh, restaurant owner that you say restaurant owner bar owner may get to listen to uh, to him and I'm not talking about me right I work with those businesses but I've never run a restaurant or a bar before all right have a good one um, and be safe